very good morning students so we have completed post periodic syllabus in the last class from today we will start the revision of post periodic syllabus the chapter is lesson 7 animal world in this chapter how we do the revision work i'll explain you one or two topic on a daily basis and after that i'll give you one worksheet which you have to do during the class timing and submit it in the class group students if you have any queries any problem in any of the topic you are free to ask me during the class or after the class whenever you are feeling comfortable but please do the worksheet it, it is very necessary i'll mark your attendance and give you marks in your class performance on the basis of the worksheet which you have done in the class group so let's start the today's topic so student let's start the revision we will start revision from today's class and in this revision i'll ex re explain you one topic and from that topic i'll give you one worksheet which you have to do or which you have to complete during the class and submit it in the class group now direct come to the topic because i already i have explained you this chapter habitat i know that you all have remembered the habitat but then to let's discuss it habitat is a place or an area where an animals live naturally is called its habitat okay so any area or place where the animal lives naturally or you can say in other word that natural home of animal is called its habitat like monkey giraffe elephant lives in the forest they are found in the forest the forest is a natural habitat for these animals shark penguin they found in the sea or ocean so that ocean or sea is a natural habitat for shark and penguins okay now polar bear found in the antarctic region or you can say the region which is extreme cold so that is the habitat of polar bear so why they choose these habitat as their home or why they form different homes or different habitats for themselves because a habitat provides the animal with food shelter air and water each animal has different feeding habit isn't it or not yes some animals feed themselves or some animals are herbivorous some are carnivorous okay some cannot survive on the land some cannot survive in the water so according to their needs they form their habitat and the habitat is a place where they there where they get easily all these things what is those things food shelter air and water now the different types of habitats found on the earth are forest mountains oceans fresh water desert and polar regions in polar regions animal who can survive in extreme cold are found in polar region like polar bear okay in fresh water you found small fishes in oceans you found shark whale etc mountains you found the animals who have fur on their bodies because the fur keep them warm okay whenever you visit any mountaining places what you see you saw the dogs or the street dogs over there are also have furs on their body because they are according to that environment in forest you found elephant monkey giraffe etc so many animals so these are the natural some of the natural habitats on the earth now first natural habitat is a forest forest is full of trees so a forest is a large area thickly covered with trees and plants you all know this that a area which is thickly covered means lots of thickly covered means lots of trees and plants are found in the forest region okay a variety of animals live in forest for example giraffe zebra live on land lion and bat lives in caves birds and monkeys lives on trees rabbits and snakes lives in burrows and holes so student in forest also they make their 
homes according to their choice and their need as you can read over here that giraffe and zebra live on land and lion and bat lives in caves in the same way birds and monkeys lives on trees because they fulfill their needs on the trees only okay rabbits and snakes lives in burrows and holes okay so these this is the first type of habitat now come to the second one that is a desert a desert is a dry area often covered with sand means a area or you can say a large area which is covered with sand only is called desert with little or no vegetation means the plants are very less over there the vegetables are found very less you can take an example of rajasthan rajasthan is the area where it the most of the land area is fully covered with the sand okay it receives very less rainfall means very less amount of rainfall is there when is very less amount of water is also there camel rattlesnake ground squirrel etc are found in the deserts now student here the the name of these uh, animals are those who also required very less of water because as you can read over here that very less vegetation is there less of plant is there and very less rainfall is there so when rainfall is less it means the vegetation and plant is also less and the animals who survive over here they also do not need more water so they also need very less of water and the animals are camel rattlesnake ground squirrel etc okay so these are the animals which are found in the desert so student in this way i have explained you two uh, habitat two types of habitat and what is the meaning of habitat now i'll make questions from these three topics in today's worksheet you have to solve that worksheet and submit it in the class group till 9:30 if you have any queries and in these topics which we have discussed today or any of the topic which we have discussed earlier you are free to ask me during the class or after the class so watch the video carefully and after that do the worksheet thank you class